The Waves in Bozeman, Montana on Thursday night, ready to take on the Bobcats of Montana State University at Worthington Arena. The Waves looking to extend their three-game winning streak, hoping to make it four for the first time since November 2007. Last year, the Waves and the Bobcats met in Firestone Fieldhouse. The Waves won that one 59-36, their best defensive showing in nearly 60 years. Tonight's game would have a few more points scored than last year. The Waves would build a 36-26 lead at halftime in this one. Let's take a look at some first half highlights. Here's Jetta Reigns winning the opening tip. Waves go down low to Stacy Davis. He'd go up for two points. We'd be hearing a lot of Stacy Davis's name tonight. But first, here's Nicholas Scowen. He had a big first half. Nicholas Scowen for three. Moments later, from the right baseline, Nicholas Scowen for three again. He's not done yet. Now coming from the left side, Nico Scowen. Boom, his third three-pointer. He would hit four three-pointers on four attempts in the first half. Later on, Caleb Willis corrals this miss. He goes in, lays it up for two. This time, Nico Scowen's pass doesn't go quite where he intended to, but it ends up in the hands of Stacy Davis. Two more points for the freshman. As we said, the Waves led by 10 at halftime. However, Montana State would come back, tied the game up several times in the second half. Let's go to some second half highlights. This shot's off, but Stacy Davis is there to get it. He throws it back up and in for two points. Here's another miss by the Waves, but Stacy Davis there again, another putback. He didn't just do it from the inside tonight, Stacy Davis. Lauren Jackson lays it off for him. Stacy with the jumper, it's good. Caleb Willis tries to lay it in. It's off, but guess who's there? Stacy Davis with another putback. Lauren Jackson's turn now. Lauren drives in for the layup. He had 16 points tonight. Key play down the stretch. Caleb Willis leading the break. He gets it off to Jet Reigns. His first shot is blocked, but Jet stays with it. Makes the basket. The Waves go on to win this one 76 to 66. Stacy Davis, freshman sensation, 22 points, 11 rebounds, both career highs. His first ever double double. Let's hear from head coach Marty Wilson and the start of today's game, Stacy Davis. I thought our, our guys, uh, after we got over the, the initial five, seven minutes of, of the altitude affecting us, um, I think our guys settled down. We got some subs in and out. Uh, guys came in, got their second win. I think we settled down defensively more so. I think they got in the flow offensively. Once we got our second win, then we start to dig in. We switched up uh, to our zone defense, and uh, they had a tough time attacking it. Well, you know, what honestly led to it was uh, Coach Moore, he kind of challenged me before the game. He, he, he uh, gave me a little quote that his, his friend came up with. He said, if you can average a rebound every 3.5 minutes, then you'll play ball for 12 years somewhere else, I mean, wh wherever in the country. And I kind of took that to heart because I know, honestly, I could I could rebound like a, like a maniac. So I kind of just tried to come out here and rebound my – my butt off, but you know, points came with it as well. So um, I think we're playing good. We're we're gelling at the right time, but I think we just gotta keep keep it going. You know, like we're gonna have some bumps in the road as well. But you know, I feel like right now we're we're doing a good job of uh, just just keeping together as a team. He's he's not a freshman. Uh, I tell you what, his poise, his understanding of the game, um, his ability to do number of things at, at both ends, offensively and defensively, is, is amazing uh, for such a young guy just turning 18. Um, and he's just going to continue to get better and better. 